this is Todd Butts with Accelerated Concepts, and today we're going to take an AT&T VPN Gateway 8300 and set it to have a static WAN address. What we'll need is the unit itself, the power supply that came with the unit, a WAN connection, and a local connection to a PC so we can set it up through the screen. So step one, let's power it up, insert the power into the power jack, pretty straightforward. And then we plug the WAN port into WAN 1. It's always going to be in WAN 1. And then we're going to plug the PC into the LAN port. And we come back, we'll be on the PC showing you how to set the screens. Okay, let's set the WAN IP address. We always want to go to the address 10.10.10.1. That is the default uh, gateway on this unit when it comes out of the factory. So that'll take us to the graphical user interface of the device. And I want to hit control panel, network settings, IPv4 settings. Then I want to hit the cancel button. Select static. And OK. Now I'm going to set my IP address. Yours will be different. And you have to use the tab key to go between these screens. Hit the OK button. and then the reboot button. And this will set our IP address in the box to be that static IP address. I will come back to you in just a second on the video and show you what lights we want to look for once we've got the unit online. Okay, the two lights we want to look for. The first one is the online light. That says the device has access to the internet. And the second light we want to look for is the VPN light. That tells us we have connectivity to the secure location we're trying to get to. Hope you enjoyed the recording.